while complication rates uh, for stenting are quite low in the order of like two to three percent, one of the common things that we see is stent adjacent stenosis, which um, people have reported in the order of nine to ten percent. Um, and this is a case that we just did last week where the patient was stented and noted visual improvements initially. Um, and you can see this was her original stenosis. And then we centered her from here to here, covering that stenosis. Um, but she came back to the ER six weeks later complaining of uh, blurred vision. And we repeated uh, her angiogram. And you see this stent adjacent stenosis right here. Um, and this is, this is really the most common location that you'll see the stent recurrence is the medial transverse sinus. And so this is one of the reasons that a lot of people advocate for stenting all the way from the torcula down to the sigmoid sinus, which is ultimately what we do. We added a, uh, another stent right here. Um, and so many people will upfront just stent from the torcula all the way to the sigmoid sinus. Um, and this is another case um, that was in the literature of a patient who had posterior sigmoid sinus uh, stenosis and had a gradient of 15. And so they stented up front. And then after stenting, uh, they checked the gradient again and did uh, manometry and noted a gradient of three. But you can see already that there's a little bit of stenosis there. And so uh, when the patient failed to improve over the next couple of days, they did another uh, venogram. And you see again that there is a stent adjacent stenosis right there and, and a new gradient of 25, um, which they stented all the way across. And you can see at the end, uh, a gradient of six. And so again, you know, one of the things that they mentioned is that um, one of the pitfalls may be that they measured the gradient from too close and that if they had actually measured the gradient from here, the, the post-stent gradient would have been much larger than three and would have clued them into stenting further along the superior sagittal sinus than, than they had. 